Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Answer and Dimensions Reality Update video, episode 36. And this episode is all about unlocking this upgrade. Eternity for E4000 Eternity Points without Time Dimensions 5 through 8. So you can see I'm kind of already halfway there, technically. But this is where our normal... Well, the thing is, this part's easy. I wouldn't even be at the 5th Time Dimension even if I had already unlocked it. So it's going to get harder and harder as I go along. And the glyph will really help. Like both glyphs, actually, not just one. And like we can go into multiplier breakdown, for example. Like tick speed, like, like now, like time dimensions are really starting to do a lot. Like this is like 50%. So that's like, that means 25% of, of my production is just from time dimension kind of crazy but unfortunately it looks like i'm already starting to slow down here i can probably get so it looks like i can get about e2400 eternity points but this is i think this is where things are really gonna slow down because there isn't much other sources of progression it's really just the dilation stuff this is kind of useless because other than a very mild time dimension boost that I'll get from the time theorems which might actually count a little bit because like like that that isn't bad I don't even know it's what's one of the upgrades I think it's based on unspent time theorems so like it will help with that but I'm not going to actually be getting the new time dimensions so I think at this point I mean, maybe I want to push eternity points a little bit more, but progression, just like in New Game Plus Plus Plus, it's going to be dominated by dilation, at least at this point. Like, I could push probably to around E25, 2600 eternity points, but I think it's better to go into dilation. So let's respec time studies next eternity. Put them all into dilation or the dilation preset. I can still grab a few more of these upgrades and enter dilation. This should hopefully, because of the massive increase in eternity points, it's going to give me a decent amount of tachyon particles. But I'm just going to enter right back into dilation so I can get more dilated time per second. And you can see things are really slowing down in dilation because it takes 10 minutes now to reach the next order of magnitude luckily there is this which will take a little over three minutes to get but that isn't the most encouraging sign because it's still gonna take a while i mean okay it has an hour and 40 minutes but realistically it's probably gonna take more like 30 minutes or something to reach this which will, I guess, do something, but it's really, it's more based on how many, just how many Tachyon particle, Tachyon galaxies I can get, just how good I can get the infinity, uh, infinity point dilation upgrade, and those are both directly based on dilated time. Okay, I'm back a couple of hours later, and I'm up to about E17 dilated time, and I haven't even gotten the passive generation of time theorem so i should probably get that i'm not gonna buy the new time dimensions i mostly just want to see how far i can get in eternity points so let's let's see let's go into here respect just go into the usual active path and see how many eternity points i can get so i'm, I'm gonna i might have to be very careful here i do not know if buying max will automatically give me the fifth time dimension so what i'm gonna do i'm going to export my save and then max all and yeah it does actually automatically buy the fifth time dimension so i have to import this before that happens and I have to do it like this which is not not preferable and let's see how far i can get this is actually is not a very good sign because Yes, I am able to push, push a bit farther, but the thing is, I still need E4000 Eternity Points, and I'm just not quite there. 
I'm not even close. I'm not even at E3000. Yes, I can probably push to E3000, but I don't know how much farther I'm going to be able to push. Even with all of all of the things I have. Like, yes, there is time dilation. I'm up to 78 Tachyon Galaxies. So I'm probably another like 30 or so are easy. But that's only 30. Like, that isn't that many galaxies. Like, maybe I shouldn't go for the upgrade. Now, there is one other thing I can try to do at this point, and that is a really long session of banked infinity grinding. The reason why I might want that is because of another reality upgrade to be unlocked, the Boundless Flow. And I don't know how good this would be. I mean, I can, I can check to see if what kind of progress I can make on this. So we can go to seconds between crunches, do this, and how many infinities am I getting here? I'm getting, okay, it's like every five seconds, it looks like every 15 seconds I'm getting about four billion infinities. So yes, that is kind of a lot, but it's every 15 seconds. So it's more like 400 million every 15 seconds and I should just do it per minute. So that'd be 1.6 billion banked infinities per minute. That's actually not bad because that that's enough to get um, the E12 banked infinities in a day because 14, 40 minutes in a day. That's how I do my calculations. So probably it's even enough to do it in about 12 hours instead of an entire day and the reason why banked infinity grinding might be good not only for the boundless flow is because of the eternity challenge 10 reward it gives me a time dimension multiplier based on my infinities and every time i'm infinity in here it's going up by like 20 30 percent okay it's gonna it's gonna be weaker and weaker exponentially but still it's gonna give me a solid time dimension multiplier equivalent to a bunch of upgrades. Now, I'm not sure how much... Well, the other thing here... Remember I was saying, like, a day or 12 hours? The other thing is that the Eternity Milestone, it's... I think it's only 50%, so it'll say how many I get per hour. Um, now, it says infinities, not banked infinities. So, this 5e11 is more like 5e10. That's still enough to do it in just under a day. So, like, it might be worth worthwhile grinding banked infinities even just now. So, I guess that's what I'm going to be going for. It's actually, it's actually a lot quicker than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to take in the neighborhood of two to three days. But because of innumerable, innumerably construct and the boundless amplifier, I'm getting almost 125 times infinities as normal. So it really makes this grind not that bad. I know, infinity grinding. This is probably like the last time I'll ever need to do infinity grinding. Or at least maybe until I unlock celestials because I have no idea what those are going to be like. But yeah. I see in a bit. Okay, I'm back a couple hours later, and I wasn't even planning to planning to record right now. But you can see I'm getting massive gains in attorney points. I'm not even sure why. Uh, we're not. I I know why. It's because of all the banked infinities I've gained. I have. I'm not anywhere close to one e12. I have. Okay, I'm about a sixth of the way there, which is not bad, but still. Still a ways to go. You can see this is now up to E20, and I think this is really helping. And I'm, I'm I was gonna go into a dilation run, but I'm just, you know what? I'm just gonna keep doing active runs because I'm gaining massive. Oh. Well, I didn't. Oopsie. I can't really reverse this. I could try to import my save, but I'm sure I, if I do that, I, 
yeah, I this is probably like the last video I uploaded or something. Which is like episode twenty one. So uh, I guess consider me defeated with this. Which although this is a really, really nice upgrade, I don't think it's one hundred percent crucial for next reality. Because here's the thing. Am I really gonna be gaining so many reality machines that like I'm gonna get this upgrade? And besides, I'm gonna get a glyph next reality that's just, that is undoubtedly gonna boost this section of the game, especially if I can get a DT glyph. So while it sucks to be like this, it is not the end of the world. And I can still get the boundless flow which is not as nice of an upgrade, but it's still something. And also, this means I can spend more time getting reality machines rather than going for stupid upgrades like this. So, yeah. Well, I'm just going to move on from my mistake here and start going for more eternity points because I'm, look at this, I'm so close to E4000 that it, it is it is a joke honestly how easy this is i can i can probably even go to here or if i can find the right place to get this dilate time go into my dilation build if i can find it and grab all of these to gain a few more tachyon particles and look at this i am this is more like quadrupling my tachyon particles so that's that's pretty nice and i can Respect my time studies next eternity. It's probably gonna take I don't know like just like four eternities to get all the way back to or not all the way back because I just at this point I'm just trying to get to E4000 and I and what it's interesting is I just don't have the time theorems for eternity challenge or not eternity challenge what am I saying time dimension eight and also this is not even part of the active build I. I'm literally missing out on some of what could be possible, which is making me think, what if I'm doing this with dilation as well? No, I, no I'm not. I'm not for dilation. But that's interesting. So I'm still leaving stuff on the table, which means that might maybe it's actually a little bit easier than I once thought to reach E4000 eternity points. And before I get there, I kind of wanted to just discuss one thing that I haven't really gone over, and this is the glyph level factors. For all of this time, I overlooked this sentence. Every completed row of purchase upgrades increases your glyph level by one. So this means that whatever my glyph level currently would be, it's increased by another one. So that's interesting. So instead of going for level two glyph, I'm gonna want a level three glyph. So yeah, but I'm only going to see what those glyphs are next episode, and this is its going to be all about what I'm going to do next reality. I think I know what perk I'm doing, which is going to be that idle perk, mostly to try to unlock auto eternity challenges, which will kind of go along with auto achievements, and they'll be super nice, especially for something like eternity challenge 11, but there's also the glyph, and also how many reality machines I want to get. But actually, I'm noticing another thing here. I need to purchase the reality study to see the glyphs choices, which means that I need the eighth time dimension, and I can get that. That would also help. But I just need like enough time theorems, and it's okay. It's not that bad. It's an hour and a half till then, which still isn't ideal. But whatever, I can I can deal with it. Especially if I just go into dilation, like that's what I'm gonna do it's that's gonna be cut in half because of the achievement here it says two times dilated time and two times time theorems so that's what i'm going to do you can see it's you can see i'm blowing past e4000 attorney points and this is without time dimension eight so yeah this is kind of crazy but let's go into dilation and first purchase these upgrades maybe i can even um, get some quick tachyon particles here. Yeah, look at this. I mean, it's not that much. It's 15%, but that'll cut 45 minutes to 40 minutes. So that's what I'm going to do. 
the reality time study thing, which is just, yeah, 37 minutes. Shouldn't be too, too bad. And yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.